In this podcast, we will determine how to calculate the mass of a compound. It will also be the introduction to moles. Alright, so how do you determine how many atoms of each element you have in a compound? Let's say we had C6, H2, O3. You have six carbons, two hydrogens, and three oxygens. What if you had something like this? There aren't any little numbers on the bottom, but there are understood to little be little pretend ones there. Okay, so there's one sodium and one chlorine. Now sometimes you have things like this. Okay, so you have one magnesium. Now you have these parentheses. Well, the parentheses work just like in math. So that two is going to distribute in. Okay, so you have two nitrogens and two times three, six oxygens. Okay, so now that you know how to count the number of atoms of each element you have in the compound, how do you determine the mass of the compound? Well, let's go back to our uh, C6H3O2. All right, the first thing you want to do is you want to write all the elements you have in the compound going down like this. And then you write how many you have of each element. We just went over how to figure that out. It's a little number on the bottom. Now you're going to multiply that by the mass of the actual element itself. So look on your periodic table, find carbon. Did you find it? All right, so if you look at carbon, the bottom number under carbon, that's the mass of carbon. 12.011. Okay, now you want to do this for all the elements. So find hydrogen. What's the mass of hydrogen? 1.0079. All right, and oxygen? 16.00. Good job. Okay, so now we're going to multiply going across. So we got 32. point. Break out the calculator here, guys. All right. So three point zero two three seven, and then we got to do our carbon. So we got six times twelve point zero one one. So we got seventy two point zero six six. Okay, so all we've done is multiply going across here. Now you want to add going down. So add them all, all up. Bring our little handy dandy calculator back out here. All right, we already got our 72. So we're going to add 3.0237 and 32. All right, there is the mass of the entire compound. 107 point, forgot the rest of it. 0897. Okay, now this is the mass of this entire compound. What's the unit for mass? Grams. Okay, so you got to put a little G beside it. Okay, so that's how we calculate the mass of the compound. 